Hello there, I'm Teacher Julie, and you're learning English with Houston Foreign Language Center. Today, we're going to discuss about the Lesson 2 from Family and Friends 5. We're going to learn new words. Here, I have a picture of a rope. Please repeat after me. Rope. 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 Then, we have here saw. Repeat after teacher. Saw. 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 Next, nail. 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 Next, Hummer. 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 Next, we have Roller. Repeat after teacher. Roller. 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 Next, we have tools. 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 We have here tray. 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 And then we have tape measure. Tape measure. Tape measure. So we were going to answer this exercise. Write the correct answer. Number one. Dad keeps his blank in a box in the garage. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is tools. So please read after teacher. Dad keeps his tools in a box in the garage. Number two. You can use blank to pull things or tie things together. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is rope. So please follow teacher. You can use rope to pull things or tie things together. Number three. We use the blank to see how long the piece of wood was. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is tape measure. So please read after teacher. We used a tape measure to see how long the piece of wood was. Number four, a blank is a small, sharp piece of metal. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is nail. Please read after teacher. A nail is a small, sharp piece of metal. Number five, you can use a blank to heat nails. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is Hummer. So please read after teacher. You can use a Hummer to heat nails. Number six, you can use a blank or a paintbrush to paint walls. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is roller. So please re repeat after teacher. 
You can use a roller or a paintbrush to paint walls. For our discussions, we will going to discuss about the verb, subject, object, adjective, and adverb. So here we have verb. Verb is a kind of word that tells about an action or a state. It is the main part of a sentence. Every sentence has a verb. Subject is the person, place, or thing that the sentence is about. A predicate is the part of the sentence that tells about the subject. Object, something material that may be perceived by the senses. Adjective or something that describes something and makes the thing sound better. And last, adverb is a word used to tell more about a verb. Words like slowly, loudly, carefully, quickly, quietly, or sadly are all adverbs. Adverbs usually, but not always, and in ly examples joe has found lots of wood the subject here is joe the verb here is has found and then the object is wood another example kate bought an ice cream the subject here is kate the pot here is verb, and then the ice cream is object. Next example, wet paint dries slowly. The wet word here is an adjective, and slowly is an adverb. Another example, she's singing a beautiful song gracefully. The beautiful is an adjective, and gracefully is an adverb. So let's practice. Look at the words in bold and identify the correct answer. We can choose our answers on the box. Number one, I've written a story. I've here is, what is the function of I've in the sentence? The correct answer is, Subject. Number two, he's playing tennis. The bold word are, or the bold word is playing. What is playing in the sentence? The correct answer is, verb. Number three, mom made a pizza. The bold word is pizza. What is pizza in the sentence? The correct answer is object. Number four, she's playing tennis. The bold word is she. What is she in the sentence? The correct answer is subject. Number five, I love to dance. The bold word is dance. What is dance in the sentence? Correct answer is verb. Very good. That's all for today. See you next time.